I, the first part of the problem was to find the amount of snow accumulated by 6 a.m. To do this, we took the integral from 0 to 6 of 7t e to the cosine of t, which is the rate of change for snow accumulation, and we came up with 142.75 cubic feet accumulated by 6 a.m. For part B of the problem, we are supposed to find the rate of change at 8 a.m. of snow accumulation. To do this, we found the rate at which the snow was accumulated minus the rate at which Bob was shoveling the snow, and we found and to find the rate of change at 8. So we took 7 times 8 times e to the cosine of 8 minus 108 and got approximately 42.75 cubic feet per hour. Part C of the problem, we had to find the total amount of snow that Bob had shoveled at a given time. First, for the first six hours, we used this. We started with the initial value, which was zero, since there was no snow, and then we added the total amount of snow that Bob had shoveled. And since he hadn't shoveled any at all, there is the number ends up at zero. For, from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m., the equation was modeled by this. He hadn't shoveled any snow yet, so it started at zero, and then added the 125 feet of snow he shoveled in the first hour. For uh, 7 a.m., 9 a.m., we found the initial value at 7 a.m., which was 145 from here. And then we added the amount he shoveled at the rate of 108 feet per hour from 7 to 9 a.m., which was 108 feet For the final part of the problem, we had to figure out how much snow was on the ground at 9 a.m. To do this, we took the total amount of snow that had accumulated here and then subtracted the total amount that Bob had shoveled to find the total. Uh, we took the integral from 0 to 9 of 7t e to the cosine of t minus 108 times 9 minus 7 plus 125. We got 26.334 cubic feet of snow that was on the ground the next.